I subtract sine squared theta over. And I get this, right? Does that make sense? I don't know. I just subtracted this over here. So sine is 1? So right now this is what I have. Then I take the square root of this and the square root of this. The square root of cosine squared, you see the squared right here? Cosine squared theta is just cosine theta. Right? So in our problem, this is our original problem. So do you see how we can just plug in cosine theta? Plug in it. Right, because we're saying we solved over here that cosine theta equals 1 minus sine squared theta. Yeah. So this becomes sine theta over cosine theta, which then just equals tan theta. That's another identity. I see. So say it's gonna say be, hi. It's going to be A. Okay. Uh, I'd, to be honest, I'd rather set myself on fire with hand sanitizer yeah. than do this. I'm gonna look at the next one and try and do it. I I think I tried to do it and did it before. I do I I don't want to do it again. My brain. Okay. Yeah, my brain is exhausted from like the five pages of work I did or something. Uh, yeah, well, it's time for you to go anyway. Unfortunately, they're because we're doing the same equations together. They're kind of. Yeah. Brain. Oh no, I got it.